Hey guys, Keaton here and welcome to this week's look at the latest Nuclear Throne update. This is update number 8. And this episode may be a little shorter than usual, because this week's additions are not necessarily visual, but they're still just as important. But before we take a look at what's new this week, let's take a quick look at what happened the last week. Now last week we saw the addition of a brand new character named Chicken, a character that starts with a katana sword and the ability to slow down time. Also added was a bee skin, we had the jackhammer that uh, replaced the chainsaw, YV got a gold revolver, and also a secret enemy that, spoilers if you have not played the game since update 7, I suggest you go and play before because I'm definitely going to continue spoiling that enemy <laughs> in these future videos. So last warning on spoilers there. So yeah, a ton of new stuff was added last week that made the update pretty substantial. I suggest if you want a more in-depth look at that update, you go back and watch our update number 7 video. <laughs> because today is all about update number 8, so let's, let's head right into update number 8. Now this week is a little weird for me to cover because I've never had to do it before, but this week is much more about the little things that you probably take for granted in video games. And that includes quite a bit of things, actually. Um, Unfortunately, they also focused on the Frozen City in this update, and if you guys have been following me this long, you'll know that I'm nowhere near the Frozen City yet, so I have no footage of new things. So before I get into anything else, I'll just give a quick rundown of all the new Frozen City things. Um, Little, Little Hunter, the boss for the Frozen City, has apparently went through quite a bit of changes. It's been updated quite a bit. Apparently it didn't have an intro screen all this time, so now that's been added, so... I guess Lil Hunter fits in with the, the rest of the bosses now. <laughs> and there have been some visual changes and updates to the Frozen City, including new tiles and new icicle graphics, so that's always good. But yeah, so let's talk a little about the sound. It seems a huge focus of this update was on the sound, and, and it definitely shows. A couple of the new sounds that were added were um, scorpions now make a fizzy sounds when, when they're firing. Actually, it's, it's more of a spray sound, I should say. It's, it's a spray sound to, to go along with their their wall of green mist or whatever it is. Rats have their own unique sound now, it's including the, the huge, ugly, fat, poisonous, rotting rat thingy. <laughs> Those have sound effects. And there, there, are, there are a lot of new little sounds here and there that, that really add to the experience, you know. It's, again, it's things that you sort of take for granted in video games and you don't really recognize them. But it really does add a nice little unique touch when enemies don't sound like each other. So it was nice to hit a rat and have it, have it make its own sound, you know. So that's, that, that's pretty cool. I'm, de I'm definitely for it. One of the more easier to recognize updates this week was finally we have icons for every mutation so far added to the game. So that means we no longer have those little cute doodles. We have full-fledged, fully colored, beautiful icons showing you a visual representation of what, what that uh, mutation does. And I'm going to miss those little doodles and they actually still appear in the top right. I don't know if that's going to be changed in the future, but yeah. We have nice, beautiful icons to, to go with our wonderful mutations now. A very nice welcome change. It feels like we're finally fleshing out the areas that sort of not been the focus thus far. Also added, when you hover over the throne butt mutation, it now tells you exactly what that entails for your character. So for example, let's say you choose Chicken. Chicken's uh, throne butt mutation is uh, she's no longer affected her rate of fire is no longer affected uh, during the slowdown time. And now, Throne Butt tells you that. So if you're new to the game, that's a very nice addition because you know exactly what's going on and you can better plan, you know? So that's, that's always nice. It's always nice to keep the player informed as much as possible. So in terms of new content added this week, there was the addition of the Nuke Launcher and, and, a cha and some changes to the Blood Launcher. Now, here's the thing. When I, re when I try to record footage for these update videos, I, I tend to cap my experience at an hour to an hour and a half. Now, I, I pretty much went twice that today, just so I could try and capture the nuke launcher or the blood launcher. I have not seen any of these weapons show up at all. So unfortunately, I have no, I have no information, no footage for you on any of those weapons. I, I apologize deeply, but 
that is sort of the nature of trying to capture and cover a game that's completely random is sometimes you will play to your fingers or bones and you may never see something happen if between now and a future update i come across these weapons i'll definitely talk about it a little bit i'm definitely intrigued to see what the blood launcher changes are because i think i saw the guys hyping this up on twitter but i have never in all of my time playing this game have i ever come across the blood launcher i don't know if that's like a really really late game item but yeah never seen it before did not see the nuke launcher at all, and yes, I did play as robot with my throne butt upgraded. But moving on, let's move on to changes and fixes, because there has been quite a significant update to uh, items I actually use, so I can maybe talk about those. <laughs> Amongst the things changes, it looks like melee weapons in general have been retweaked. The katana has a higher rate of fire, but a lower damage rate. The sledgehammer has a lower rate of fire and a higher damage rate. And the screwdriver has a higher rate of fire, and I believe that its damage just stays the same. Sledgehammer, it feels it feels good. It, it feels like a nice give and take, you know. Um, the sledgehammer still feels like a viable weapon. The katana still feels really good, but I can definitely tell like it takes me way more swings to take out Big Bandit than it did uh, prior to the update. So I'm gonna I'm gonna miss the OP nature of the katana, but I realized that it was prop it was in fact OP to a certain extent. So that's that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be able to get used to the, the katana's changes. Now the screwdriver, the screwdriver is pretty interesting. In the past I've said the screwdriver is not a very good late game weapon, but with the up in rate of fire it sort of makes it a lot more useful. Before I always used to consider the screwdriver like a world one weapon, you know. By the time you get to the sewer, if you don't have something with some range, you're probably going to get screwed. Screwdriver's rate of fire was sort of a reason it it was difficult to use, but since they've upped that, I found that the screwdriver is actually a much more viable melee weapon now. I definitely wouldn't take it over the sledgehammer or the katana, but it feels much more like a useful weapon now, so it's definitely nice to continue to see these weapons being tweaked so that they don't become irrelevant to the game, so thumbs up for that. Another change, boiling veins, uh, the, the mutation that, that when it was first introduced would protect you completely from explosions and fire. In a, in a previous update, they, they tweaked that so that you would only take half damage. Now it seems that Vlambeer have retweaked it again and actually made sort of a compromise. So if you are under 50% of health, you will no longer take damage from fire or explosions. In general, it's, it's a very good and nice change. It, it, it's a welcome change. You know, to make things a little more fair, considering, especially in World 3, things are always blowing up your, in your face, especially like with Big Dog, and that can technically get a little annoying, you know. So, it's nice that that option exists for people who are not good at dodging explosions or whatever. Apparently, there was a fix to the spawning of the secret enemy, aka the Mimic Chest. No specifications, but I think this might have to do a little bit with something I saw on Twitter about how Chicken can apparently use her slow motion to detect where uh, Mimic Chests are. I don't know. I don't know. Someone's gonna have to help me out with that one because I'm not exactly sure what the change entails. I kind of thought maybe Mimic Chests move when you're not looking because I swear I saw that happen today while I was recording, but that could have just been my, my my eyes playing tricks on me, so. And so, and so yeah, that pretty much wraps it up this week. Again, not a lot of visual additions, but a lot of welcome to little changes that make the experience feel more fleshed out, you know. For the longest time, we've just had these doodles, now we have beautiful portraits. We get, we get some nice detail in the characters, we get to see them a little more than through the little sprites, you know. So that's, that's a nice welcome, and definitely it's nice to hear more sound effects, especially things unique to characters so that it doesn't sound like you're beating the same enemy over and over again with the same sound effects, you know. Again, I think I think a lot of that gets taken for granted overall. The, uh, the visual style or the simplistic nature of pixel graphics is not holding back the collective creative dedication to this project. So I'm, I'm definitely for that. You know, it's always nice to see when developers and designers and whatnot really take the, the details into consideration. That's always something I'm going to welcome with open arms. Um, in terms of bugs post-update 8, um, it still seems that weapons will spawn in 
if you restart the game like if you go through a portal and then you re you force restart like where you pause and then you you hit the restart button i respawned in world one with a grenade launcher so yeah that's 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 pretty much the only bug i ran into so yeah i'm sure some people will not consider this a very significant update but it's still a very important update nonetheless because as i said it's a focus on the little things that make the overall experience better and i welcome those because those need to be done to to make a very good experience you need to pay attention to the little details other than that according to the update uh, Vlam this is the point where Vlambeer are gonna sort of slow down on the crazy updates i believe you know these guys are human so they're definitely gonna want to spend time with their family and of course like we covered last week they're gonna start slowing down a bit but they promise to uh, kick it back into gear next year. As long as they keep putting out the updates, we'll keep doing these update videos. And if they decide for a couple weeks, hey, you know, we're just going to let everybody recharge their batteries over the holidays. We're not going to focus on the updates. That's that's cool with us. We'll be here holding down the fort with our own runs of, of the uh, of the game. And yeah, we got you guys covered. <laughs> So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this week's video. A lot of new little changes that will enrich your experience. And yeah, if you haven't picked up the game yet, you know, holiday season's coming around. If Santa gives you some uh, some cash for Christmas, <laughs> why not spend it on Nuclear Throne? Hey, Ding! We need like a, a little jingle to go there. Do -do 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 -do. No, that, that was Mario. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, that was the update. Again, if you want to get this game yourself, check the link in the description below. Take you to their Steam Early Access page where you can pick this up. And yes, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!